Sam Collins from the Institute of Economic Affairs, because of course we have a new chancellor. And what does it mean to have a new chancellor? Could we have a new change in economic policy? Might we be moving away from some of the high tax, low growth, stagnant policy of the last few years? Well, uh, thanks for joining us on the programme. I suppose the first question is, uh, what should the Chancellor now look to do? What should the new Chancellor now look to do? Well, I think, uh, I, I think to go to your point this, during your introduction, I don't think that a new Chancellor is really going to solve the problem here. I think if you look at Rishi Sunet's resignation letter, it's quite clear that uh, it, those of us who believe in free markets, that our goals were not being stopped by the Chancellor. They were being stopped from uh, Number 10 Downing Street. Now, what the new chancellor ought to be doing is he ought to be going from top to tail through the spending and taxation of this government and finding out what is increasing the costs of living to the British people and looking at ways to cut it. Because the, we are not in a situation where uh, we can increase up spending significantly. We're in a cost of living crisis. One thing that Rishi Sunak was absolutely correct on is that we need to have a sensible economic strategy which means that we can't just introduce unfunded Secretary tax cuts. Secretary Ben Wallace unfunded. walking into Downing Street. Does the Prime Minister have your confidence, Mr Wallace? Ben Wallace there not responding to journalists uh, shouting at him across here. I, I've got to emphasise just how many journalists are currently standing uh, in Downing Street. I'm so sorry for interrupting you there. Back to economic policy. Of course, uh, it's very interesting to watch people walk into doors, but also the policy substance here matters too. Uh, Boris Johnson being the blockage rather than Rishi Sunak. Yes. So the, uh, the so the prime minister has been uh, has attempted to increase spending. He hasn't uh, funded this through uh, in, through sufficient increases in taxation, or as I would prefer, um, offsetting spending cuts. It seems like the previous chancellor, for all of his faults, did at least want to balance the budget and have a sensible long term economic strategy. Whereas uh, Boris seems a lot more interested in splashing the cash around on uh, on big exciting projects, so I think what the new chancellor needs to do is just go from top to bottom through government spending and taxation, and actually look at the areas where the where sp uh, spending cuts could be made, uh, tax cuts could be reduced if necessary, uh, if possible rather. I mean, obviously, I think it's necessary, but uh, if possible. Uh, we should be uh, cutting taxes. The tax burden is at uh, the highest level since Clement Attlee was Prime Minister, which should be uh, terrifying to anybody ex who isn't an ardent socialist. So uh, those are sort of the areas that the Chancellor should be looking at, but I'm not sure he'll be able to.